Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shari Aqeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa opened today the Avenues Bahrain Mall accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and officials. His Royal Highness pointed out the role of the kingdom in attracting investment thanks to the facilitation it provides for investors. He affirmed that the kingdom will continue its march of progress under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness toured the mall and was briefed on the second phase of developing the project. He wished everyone who worked on this project success. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, condemned the terrorist attack that targeted a police bus near Jithaf, which resulted in the death of a policeman and leaving eight seriously injured. He expressed confidence in the Bahraini society in arresting the perpetrators and bringing them to justice. He added that the cowardly act that aims to target the security, stability, and unity of the kingdom will only strengthen the cohesion of the country under its wise leadership. The Shura Council also condemned the terrorist attack and affirmed in a statement its complete rejection of all forms of violence and terrorism aimed at undermining the security of the country and the lives of its citizens and residents. The Council pointed out that the law and justice will reach the perpetrators, affirming that all attempts to undermine the stability of the kingdom will be foiled thanks to the strong cohesion of the society of Bahrain. GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani strongly condemned the terror blast which targeted a police bus near Jid House in Bahrain today, which resulted in the death of a policeman and the serious injury of eight others. He described the terrorist act as a heinous crime that contravenes all humanitarian and moral values and principles. He added the crime shows that the terrorist groups and their supporters are going ahead with their evil plots to shake the kingdom's security and stability and terrorize people. He expressed utter confidence in the capability of the Interior Ministry's specialized security bodies to track down the perpetrators and bring them to justice. Ezzayani also called on the international community to denounce the terrorist organizations and their supporters' continuous attempts to undermine Bahrain's security and stability. He extended heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased as well as the Bahraini government and people, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia strongly condemned the terror blast that targeted a police bus near Jid House in Bahrain and resulted in the death of a policeman and the injury of eight others. An official source at the Saudi Foreign Ministry affirmed the Kingdom's support to Bahrain in all measures taken to preserve its security and stability and ensure people's safety. The source extended condolences to the families of the deceased and the Bahraini government and people, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. Kuwait also condemned the terrorist attack and an official source from the Kuwaiti Foreign Ministry underlined Kuwait's support to Bahrain in all measures taken to preserve its security and stability, stressing that such criminal acts will never affect the kingdom's determination to confront terrorism and root it out. The source extended heartfelt condolences to the families, wishing the injured a speedy recovery and praying to Allah Almighty to protect Bahrain. The United Arab Emirates condemned the terrorist crime and in a statement issued by the UAE Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, the UAE strongly condemned and denounced the cowardly terrorist crime aimed at destabilizing the Kingdom of Bahrain, reiterating the UAE's principled and firm stance in rejection of all forms of violence and terrorism. Egypt also condemned the terrorist attack that targeted a police bus in Bahrain. The Egyptian Foreign Ministry extended in a statement condolences to the families of the deceased wishing the injured a speedy recovery and stressing Egypt's support to Bahrain in confronting terrorism. It also affirmed that those despicable acts will never succeed in shaking Bahrain's security and stability. Egypt reasserted the need to track down sources of supporting, funding, training and harboring the misguided groups who are targeting regional international security and stability. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa during the 2017 government forum that was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza affirmed that the ministry is working on the construction of a solar power plant with the capacity of 100 megawatts of electricity in partnership with the private sector. 
This initiative comes under the Kingdom's efforts to maintain sustainable developments, provide a healthy environment and diversifying energy sources in order to reach the renewable energy percentage 5% of total production by 2025. Dr. Mirza praised the presentation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince during the forum, which aims to develop government action, achieve efficiency and productivity, and achieve the goals of the government's development program, including investment in renewable and sustainable energy. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 9,673,244 shares worth 2,225,593 Bahraini dinars conducted through 427 transactions. Investors traded in 19 companies, 5 witnessed the rise in shares, 7 fell, and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector, and the industrial sector came in second. Bahrain Bourse officially announced the kickoff of the Trade Quest Challenge for high school students for the school year 2017 to 2018 for the 20th consecutive year. The meeting was held at Bahrain Bourse's premises, where all participating students and advisors attended the event, along with investment advisors who will monitor and coach the teams during the program. The program aims to stimulate relevant learning through realistic experiences by learning the rules and regulations implemented in the financial markets, analyzing and selecting shares, and managing a portfolio of investments listed in New York Stock Exchange and Bahrain Bourse. Zain Bahrain reported an 8.3% increase in its third quarter net profit amounting to 1.3 million Bahraini dinars. The company said that it's a positive result in the face of an increasingly competitive Bahrain telecoms market. Quarterly revenues improved by 3.6% to 17.5 million and for the first nine months of the year, the company reported a 12% spike in revenues, strongly driven by data, while the net profit was down by 6.6%.